Welcome to Electron Line. Here's our second example of how to use Stokes' theorem. Here we have the vector field, y in the i direction plus z in the j direction plus x in the k direction, and we're supposed to integrate a dot dl. And let's go ahead and try to set that up. Here's our curve. Our curve goes along the y-axis, along the z-axis, and then forms a semicircle, or I should say quarter circle, from here to there. Notice that the radius of that is equal to 1. If we're going to integrate that, what we need to do is, of course, do three integrals. We need to integrate it from there to there, integrate it from there to there, and integrate it along here. Hmm, it might be easier to try and do this portion of the equation of Stokes' law, or Stokes' theorem. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's find the curl of A and see what we end up with. The curl of A is equal to I, J, K, the partial with respect to x, the partial with respect to y, the partial with respect to z, and then we get y, z, and x. That would be equal to the i unit vector times the partial of y of x minus the partial of z of z minus the j unit vector, the partial of x of x minus the partial of z, oh, the partial of z of y, and plus k times the partial of x of z, oh, the partial with respect to x, I should say, of z minus the partial with respect to y of y. And if we then simplify that, we get the following. This is equal to, uh, that would be 0. And this would be 1, that would be minus i. This would be 1, and this would be 0. So that would be minus j. And this would be 0, and that would be 1 minus k. That means that the curl of a is equal to that. Oop, too many equal signs. There we go, is equal to that. Now the next thing we do is we plug that in here and we we'll multiply that times dA. So this here becomes the surface integral of the curl of A, which is minus I minus J minus K dotted with dA. Now of course dA can be written, that's a small little area element right here, and this here would be our small little dA, and the unit vector, again use your right hand rule, but now what you need to do is, you need to use your fingers, you're going to go around the, the curve like this, which means a unit vector is into the board, that means it is a negative x direction. So this can then be written as the surface integral of minus i, minus j, minus k, times dA, and times the unit vector, which would be a minus, oh, and I will write, a minus i unit vector because it's into the board. Remember, use your right hand rule and since you're integrating around the curve like this, it's going to be into the board. Hmm. So this minus cancels out all those minuses and now notice when you multiply an i times an i you get 1, but when you multiply an i times a j you get 0 and an i times a k you get 0, which means this simplifies into the surface integral of i times dA. Oop, oop, let me take that back, not i, because it's i times i, which is 1 times dA. All right, if that's the case, that's easy. It would take the 1 out of the side, the integral sign, which means it's simply the integral, the surface integral of dA, which is the area of this quarter circle. This is equal to 1 quarter the area of a circle, which is equal to 1 quarter pi r squared, which is equal to pi divided by 4, and r, in this case, is equal to 1, which is simply pi divided by 4. Again, Stokes' law comes to the rescue. If we had to integrate this, if we had to integrate the right side of the equation, that would be very difficult, taking a dot with dl and integrate it along that curve. You can see that by using Stokes' law, Finding the curl of A, which is fairly simplistic, then multiplying times dA, which is dA times the unit vector, in this case into the negative x direction, 
And that way there's only one term that survives. It's simply an integral of dA, which is the area of that. And so you can see Stokes' law sometimes can make things a lot easier for you. And that's how it's done.